yo what's going on youtube welcome back to another video and today i will be showing you five easy solo clothing glitches for the female and male character and this does work on all platforms but if you're new here hit that subscribe button turn on the bell notification as well let's not waste any more time and let's get straight on to the video for the first clothing glitch i will be showing you on how to get an invisible stomach for your female character now with your female character, make your way over to the closest clothing store, go over to the top section, then you will need to go over to the party tank tops and select any of the party tank tops. Once you've done that, you will need to go over to the pants section and select any of the pants you want. Then afterwards, open up interaction menu, go over to style, go over to accessories, Go over to gloves then you will need to equip the black long gloves and you should see your waist disappear like this now all you want to do is save this as an outfit and you should see the invisible stomach saved on your saved outfit but the only downside about this is it does disappear but after you done save this as an outfit it sticks around about like 30 seconds on your saved outfit and it just reappears right after but yeah guys, let's move on to the second clothing glitch of this video. I will be showing you on how to get invisible arms and this does work on the female and male character and it does work on all platforms as well and this is solo as well. So make your way over to any clothing store on the map, it doesn't matter which one you go to. Go over to the top section and once you're there, you will need to find the section called scuba outfits. Then once you're on scuba outfits, you will need to select any of the scuba outfits you want. So it doesn't matter which color or which price it is to select any of the ones you want. After you do select the one you want, all you want to do is save this as an outfit and slot one. Now back out once, go over to the bodysuits. And once you're on bodysuits, also all you want to do is select any of the top three. Once you've done that, you will need to make your way over to the closest telescope so we could do the telescope glitch. All you want to do is run past the telescope while pushing right on the d-pad and pull away from the telescope and your mask should disappear like this. Open up interaction menu, go over to style and apply the saved outfit we just made at the clothing store. Now back out from the interaction menu and walk away from the telescope and your outfit should look exactly like mine. Now if it does, you will need to make your way over to the mask store and once you're there you will need to make your way over to the top section which i did now go over to the vest and this does work on any vest so select any vest you do want now once you've done that you will need to make your way over to the left side of the pier near the water once you're there you will need to run directly into the water like i did and you should see the scuba gear appear on your saved outfit like this. Now, you will need to make your way over to this wood platform and get on top of it. Now, open up interaction menu and choose the option to kill yourself. After you've done that, you should be spawning onto the beach and you should see your scuba gear disappear off your character's outfit like this. And you should see the invisible arms. So once you done save this as an outfit, the cool thing about this is you can put on gloves, a helmet, and also you could change the pants and mess with the shoes. But yeah guys, let's move on to the third clothing glitch of this video. For this clothing glitch, I will be showing you an easy solo method on how to transfer the old and new duffel bags to any of your saved outfits. And this does work on the male and female character as well, and it does work on all platforms. Now. Make sure you have your saved outfit ready to go you want the duffel bag on. Once you have your saved outfit ready to go, make your way over to the nearest ammunition store. Go over to the front counter like I did. Go over to the parachutes. Go over to parachute bags. Then you will need to purchase the Israel troop bag. It's a blue and white one. Now back out from the front counter. Open up interaction menu. And you will need to equip the Israel troop bag on your saved outfit like I did. Then make your way over where the jackets are on the wall. Then save this as an outfit once. 
then you will need to select the outfit with the duffel bag you want to transfer over it with. So select the outfit with the duffel bag and you will need any sort of flying vehicle. Then you will need to make your way over to the mass store and fly really high near the mass store like this. And once you're there, you will need to jump out of your flying vehicle like this. Then open up your parachutes, open up your interaction menu, go over to style and apply the saved outfit you just made at the ammunition store once. Then back out from the interaction menu and all you want to do is glide into the mass store. So this part's very important. Once you do glide into the mass store, make sure you continue to spam right on the D-pad till the mass store opens up for you like this. Then just save this as an outfit once. Now back out from the mass store and walk away from the master release like five or 10 feet. Then open up the interaction menu and apply the saved outfit you just made. And you should see the duffel bag transfer over to your saved outfit like this. Now let's not waste any more time and let's move on to the fourth clothing glitch of this video. I will be showing you on how to get an FIB badge on any of your saved outfits and this does work on all platforms and this does work on the female and male character as well. So you will need a arcade business and it doesn't matter which arcade business it is the glitch will still work. All you want to do is register as CEO or MC then make your way over to your arcade business and remember this does work on, on the male and female character as well. Now, once you're, you're inside of your arcade business, register as CEO or MC, then go over to the heist planning board and you will need to start up the prep called hacking device. It should be a picture with Lester. Now, once you do start it up, you will be spawning into the mission with a suit like this. Now, if you do not spawn into the mission with a suit, basically just put find new session and continue to restart the mission to spawn in with the suit. Now, once you do spawn into the suit, all you want to do is wait for Lester to stop talking. I know it might be a while because he talks a lot. After he done stop talking, you will need to make your way over to the nearest ammunition store. And once you're there, you will need to go over to the saved outfits and select the saved outfit you want the FIB badge on. Now, once you've done that, you will need to make your way over to the yellow destination marker. And if you do die during this mission, don't worry, the glitch will still work. So once you're done, select the saved outfit you want the FIB badge on. You will need to make your way over to the yellow destination marker. Then you will need to kill off every single agent that's there. So once you do kill off all these agents that are there at the mission, you should see a option where it says to pick up the security pass. And once you do pick up the security pass of the dead agent, you should see the FIB badge appear on your saved outfit like this. Then you will need to once again, make your way over to the nearest ammunition store that's near you. It doesn't matter which one you go to, the glitch will still work. And once you're there, you will need to make your way inside of the ammunition store. Now make your way over to the jackets art on the wall like this then save this as an outfit and the cool thing about the fib badge it does stick forever so you don't have to worry about it disappearing at all but yeah guys let's not waste any more time and let's move on to the fifth and final outfit tutorial of this video for the last clothing glitch i will be showing you on how to get the prison security outfit and this does work on the male and female character as well. For this requirement is you would need to go over to your arcade business. If you do not own an arcade, you can always tell a friend to lend you his. And it doesn't matter which arcade business you have, the glitch will still work. Now, once you're at your arcade, register as CEO or MC. It doesn't matter which one you register as. And you must have the heist approach on the big con. Once you have it on the big con, you must start with the mission slash prep caught vault key cards. It should be on the bottom left. Now, once you do launch the mission, it will tell you something about you hijacking a prison bus. Then all you want to do is go over to the street where the prison bus is passing 
and all you want to do is kill the driver. And also, you remember, you could do this solo. You don't even need a friend. I just had my friend tell me because what the heck. Yeah, so after you do um, kill the prison bus driver, all you want to do is enter the prison bus and make your way over to the penitentiary slash prison. Now, once you're there, all you want to do is enter the prison with the prison bus. And once you're there, all you want to do is wait for the gate to open. And all you want to do is make sure you do not alert the security guards that are there. Now, once the gate is open, all you want to do is drive in. So once you do drive in, continue to take the prison bus all the way in to the right and continue to follow me in this video and continue to drive and you should see a prison tower coming up on the inside once you see the prison tower now get out of the prison bus now all you want to do is sneak up in there you can use a silencer or a melee weapon to kill the security guards that are in the prison and once you do kill them you should see the option where it says that he dropped his vault key card. All you want to do is make your way over to the prison guard, press right on the D-pad and pick up the vault key card. And on the next option, it should tell you to leave the area. So this part is very simple. So all you want to do is get back in the prison bus and make your way out of the exit slash entrance where you just came from. Now leave the prison bus at the entrance and all you want to do is run out of the prison gates like this. Now you will need to make your way over to the closest clothing store. And once you're there, all you want to do is save this as an outfit. And the prison guard outfit, it's fully yours and this does stick. And also the cool thing about this is you do unlock other prison outfits. So this is not the only prison outfit that's available. So if you... Go over to the front counter, go over to the Diamond Casino Heist, and you go over to like the prisoner security outfits. You should unlock like three or four more. But yeah, guys, hopefully I did enjoy the video. If y'all want more clothing glitches like this, just comment below and give this video up to 100 likes. I'll post more clothing glitches like this. But yeah, guys, catch you on the next GTA 5 online video. Peace.